Tesla billionaire Elon Musk has finally exposed Klaus Schwab's corruption. You might be well familiar with Klaus Schwab as the executive leader of the World Economic Forum and the author of his famous book, The Fourth Industrial Revolution. However, Elon Musk is just about to tell you about what is not obvious about Klaus Schwab's because he finally exposed this German elite. What did Klaus Schwab do and how did Elon Musk expose his corruption? Join me today in this video where we will explore how Elon Musk has finally exposed Klaus Schwab's corruption. Elon Musk and Klaus Schwab have a lot to share. First, both of them form a part of an elite group in the world, and as such, is one of the most renowned figures around the globe. Secondly, both are somehow affiliated with the WEF, the company that Klaus formed, and finally, they are interested in the fourth industrial revolution. Well, these similarities can be pretty common as far as we can see at face value. However, Elon Musk is exposed to more, and what we will unravel is but the tip of the iceberg of the struggle that these two elites share. Talking about the fourth industrial revolution is a topic that has had several thinking about what the future will hold for the rest of the world. For starters, what is the fourth industrial revolution? And why is it called the fourth industrial revolution? Starting with the first question, the fourth industrial revolution is simply how the physical, biological, and technological components will seamlessly merge to form our present day society. This revolution era was preceded by the third, which dealt with automated production. And there has been a previous industrial revolution dating back to what history calls the first industrial revolution. All these were categorized in terms of the technological developments that were common at the time. The fourth industrial revolution, since it is a matter that concerns our time, is a matter of serious thought even to the elites, Schwab and Musk. Unfortunately, both have different ways of tackling the same question. There's how Kloss approaches the matter which does not sit rightly with Elon Musk. So, how does Kloss view the fourth industrial revolution? The best place to start is Schwab's way of defining the fourth industrial revolution. According to him, it's where advanced technology has made it possible for virtual and physical manufacturing to work more smoothly. Underline the word more smoothly because we're coming back to this point. The WEF founder noted that the previous industrial revolutions worked to liberate humans from animal power. However, the fourth one will be fundamentally different from the rest. It will be characterized by new technologies that will be fused, thus impacting all disciplines and even challenging the idea of what it means to be human. As a result, there will be shifts and disruptions that will mean two things. We might either live at a time of great promise, or much worse, live in a time of great peril. Yet Schwab is quite a tech optimist who buys the idea that having the fourth industrial revolution will change everything, and smoothly. Like the revolutions that preceded it, the fourth industrial revolution has the potential to raise global income levels and improve the quality of life for the population around the world. Schwab is very right to think so. In addition to that, he's also very right to recognize that there will be challenges in adopting the technology in the fourth industrial revolution, as he said. The fourth industrial revolution could yield greater inequality, particularly in its potential to disrupt labor markets. On the same note, he talked about Elon Musk's area of specialization, automation, saying this, As automation substitutes for labor across the entire economy, the net displacement of workers by machines might exacerbate the gap between returns to capital and returns to labor. We cannot dispute Schwab up to that point. Nevertheless, this German author is not painting the full picture of the fourth industrial revolution. He's only talking about the tip of the iceberg, which we're all familiar with while neglecting the most crucial part. As far as this disclosure is concerned, Elon Musk is here to expose the whole truth about the fourth industrial revolution, which is more than you have ever thought. So viewing things the Musk way, this current industrial revolution has another side to dealing with the risks of technology, particularly the risk of having artificial intelligence. You see, Musk's current stance that tech could be risky is what pushed his nomination for a Luddite award. As we know, the basic meaning of a Luddite is opposed to technology. Yet, we all know that Elon Musk is anything but an anti-tech guy. He's a proud owner of two main companies that are making it in the tech world. However, the Luddite Awards appreciated the fact that Elon Musk exposed the lurking danger that the present tech might pose to the rest of humanity. At least Musk is not alone on the Luddite bandwagon as Microsoft founder Bill Gates shares the same risky tech idea. Bill Gates and Elon Musk being strong figures in the tech world sounding the warning about risky tech only paints Schwab as corrupt as he avoids talking about the risky side. Talking about the challenges of tech is not enough if people are not enlightened about the risk of tech. 
This is a matter that cannot be overlooked especially when talking about artificial intelligence. According to the Tesla CEO, artificial intelligence is humanity's existential crisis. He warns that they will be much worse than nukes and might overtake the world, even without us realizing it. Technology has changed how things are done in the world. Nowadays we have AI that can perform complex yet successful surgeries and other very complex tasks with utmost accuracy. These developments are still ongoing to grow exponentially with the current developments. In fact, tech goes through only four cycles which happen within a year, before a big change is realized. Since that is the case, Elon Musk is careful about taking the fourth industrial revolution as something that will only affect society without having a keen look at the risks that will be involved. As it is, AI has gained so much intelligence to the point of almost seamlessly matching that of humans. With this being the case, some scientists have had concerns that AI might gain sentience, which will be a major risk to humans. If all these automation gain sentience, they will obviously have their goals. If they perceive that humans are getting in their way, they will surely eliminate humans to achieve their goals. While the matter of sentience is debatable, logic tells us that none of the AI in the industry has achieved such a level despite the level of automation. However, AI can be controlled, yet the fact that AI runs unregulated augments its risk as it can land in the hands of the wrong person and lead to a major world disaster. As it goes, the man who controls AI is powerful enough to control the world. You can imagine what will happen when AI is controlled by a villain. There are numerous things someone can do with this automation at the press of a button. Without a regulated AI, it becomes very difficult to welcome the idea of tremendous AI innovation. What Elon Musk simply advocates for is exploring new ideas under some regulation, so that we can avoid future disasters by innovating responsibility. Otherwise, we don't want to have a case of innovations gone bad. Remember how asbestos was introduced in building innovations and how it got everyone excited? Thinking about a smooth future? What they didn't know was that the harmful effects of the mineral due to ignorance or overlooking the possible harm. If we overlook the possible risks of AI and proceed as if nothing will happen, then what Elon Musk tags as humanity's existential crisis might actually take place. While many innovations are yet to take place, we should be asking ourselves tough questions about how we might do things differently to avoid mistakes. So instead of Musk being viewed as a neo-ludite, he should be applauded for bringing an important perspective to the table. That should form part of the fourth industrial revolution if we are to anticipate tremendous changes in society. Otherwise, this new industrial era is not as promising as it sounds. In fact, it will bring a tremendous amount of inequality in society in terms of distribution of resources. It would be like the middle class and low class levels in society will not even be able to access resources while the elites will have an abundance of this. This is what we are currently experiencing in society, and this is not about to change anytime soon. In fact, Klaus Schwab is accused of leading a group of oligarchs to rule the entire world. It is believed that he has a team of very wealthy elite personages around the globe, whom he uses to achieve his sly agenda to rule the world. Accordingly, that is why he formed the WEF, to find a better opportunity of controlling these little teams more effectively. It is said that he has particularly gained an advantage as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, that led WEF to introduce something called the Great Reset. Simply put, the Great Reset is an initiative the WEF drew in response to the COVID pandemic. As innocent as the name and objective of the initiative sounds, there's another side of the coin which is not obvious to the common eye. As it is, Schwab has imposed a Great Reset on world governments, hiding under the garb of wanting to help our world economy recover from the pandemic's blow. His clever idea about the Great Reset is that the sovereign state has become obsolete and no longer sufficient for handling increasingly global crises. That said, we can conclude that the state therefore needs external help to handle its matters. Well, Schwab is right about that, in the current state of things of the economy, governments have fallen on their knees and might need some help that they can garner. However, this could also be a little excuse to find a way of ruling the entire world with this little elite team. Looking at both the AI and the agenda that Schwab is putting forward, we can't help but notice that he has more to his agenda than meets the eye. Could it be that Klaus Schwab has the plan to take over the world without us realizing it? And has Elon Musk just spoiled that plan? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.